What's up? Welcome back to Ash on Main Street. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ash. I make lots of Disney content, Disney vlogs, things like this. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please do consider subscribing below. Today we're going to be doing something super fun and we are ranking every single restaurant that I've ate at at Disneyland Paris. There's quite a few options here, there's quite a few things going on, so let's just dive straight into it. Over on the side here, I've rated everything like one through five, so it's like one out of five stars, two out of five stars, three out of five stars, so on and so forth. Let's start right here with Chuck Wagon Cafe at Hotel Shea. Now, I've eaten here before had breakfast here on my 2016 trip it was a good breakfast good theming but it wasn't like a wowzer like it didn't really have that like pow like that amazing you know it was just like your standard hotel breakfast really just with a bit of disney pizzazz so for that it's gonna get three out of five and i'm pretty confident with that decision next up rainforest cafe immediately four out of five theming is good food is good service is good it was just busy when i went but it doesn't have that wow factor that some of the other restaurants have either so it gets four out of five. I think I had like a chicken Louisiana burger, I think it was called. And it was really good. Our waiter was lovely. Like he was really great. Um, food was good. Service was good. Theming was good. I love the little like aquarium bubble that you walk through as you go into the restaurant. And then like all of like the jungly stuff. Very 90s, but I just think it's iconic. Like I think it's amazing. So next up, Erla Sandwich. That is immediately going in four out of five too. I love Erla Sandwich. It's one of my favorite spots to get lunch. It's in the Disney Village. It's right at the end before you start kind of walking up to the hotels. Food's good service is good can be a little slow at sometimes it also does get a little bit busy but the food is what's the word reliable consistent that's it consistently good if you're going and you eat chicken get the chipotle chicken sandwich oh my god it's unreal with avocado oh delicious Ooh, casey's corner now this is going to be controversial and i saw and i know some people are probably going to like come and sacrifice me now to mickey mouse i have a very unpopular opinion here i absolutely hate casey's corner oh <gasps> I'm sorry. I don't think the food's good. I don't like hot dogs anyway, so that's kind of like the reason. But also, I think it's terribly overpriced. The only reason that I would give it an extra point is because of the location. The location, especially if it's in summer, like, you can sit, like, right against Main Street, watch the bread go past. So I guess for that, I'll give it two because they do offer chips. And I eat chips. And they do also offer chicken nuggets, which I have had, and they were fine. They weren't, like, incredible, but, like, me. Two out of five. I'm excited to try Casey's in Florida because I want to know how it's different um if it is different so currently right now casey's is two out of five at disneyland paris next up is mcdonald's and that is getting a one now listen mcdonald's it's a classic it's iconic fine but you can get mcdonald's anywhere like you could i can go like 10 minutes up the street and go get mcdonald's you know what i mean for that it's getting a one service was not good like the guy that like helped us attempted to help us was just really blunt and like rude and i was like okay like thanks cheers maybe he just didn't like me because to be fair like when i speak i do sound really an annoyed and i sound really sarcastic and people do think that i just am a horrible person promise i'm not i just have like a really i have an rbf you know next up is cable car bake shop now ooh, ooh, there was a scandal so little story about cable car bake shop love it it's great it's cute whatever i love that you can get in from the back and the front and that's what she said and i love that there's indoor seating but in June, we went in and asked if we could use our annual pass discount because we get 15% off restaurants with our infinity passes. And the person working there was like, nope. And I was like, okay, no problem. Like we paid full price, whatever. It was fine. Like, cause it's not a restaurant restaurant. Do you know what I mean? We went back in January and guess what they let me use? My annual pass discount. So I don't know if that person was just like not informed. I don't know. But either way, I was kind of annoyed. <laughs> like I was like, Oh, so because I got a little discount, I treated myself to a hot chocolate and then we sat out on Main Street and, oh, that was it. I watched Tigger. He was so cute. I watched Tigger's little meet and greet spot and he was just so cute. So that gets a three out of five. Next up is Market House Deli. I like Market House Deli. I haven't really tried that much from there, but I have tried the Croc Monsieur. I'm not French. We've established this. I like it. It's good food. It's solid. It's decent. I'm going to put that in three out of five. It's definitely not Casey Jr. level. And next up is Bella Notre. Not Bella Notte. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. It is the Italian... Oh my god, my back just snapped. Italian place in Fantasyland. I've only been here once. It was busy. It was very standard. The theming's cute, but I don't think it's like wowzer. Theming was cute. Food was fine. It was kind of a little bit pricey for a quick service. I think I paid like 17 euros each or something. But they do do Mickey-shaped pizzas, so like... That's, it's going in three out of five. Annette's Diner is getting a five out of five. We've eaten here twice now. Service is always great. Even when it's heaving, the service is always top notch. Food is always good. I love like the 1950s, like roller skate diner vibe. There is some staff that are on roller skates, which I think is so cool. Yeah, it's just a solid option. I know I use the word solid a lot, but like it is, it just like, it stands its ground. It's good. 
if they get rid of this in the village, I'm actually going to sue. Like, I'm going to find the money to sue Disney and be like, bring that back now. Or open one up down the street for me so that I can go to it 24-7. Thank you. Next up is <laughs> Bistro Shit Remy. It's going into one out of five. I don't care. We ate here on our January trip. If you haven't seen our day one vlog, go watch it. Oh, stale bread. Horrible food. My steak was borderline gelatinous. Service was terrible. Oh my, I've honestly never had such bad service at a Disney restaurant ever. Like the guy was just constantly really weird with us. And then he vanished and then we ended up getting another waiter. So I don't know if like he was just not having a good day or if he was like ready to finish his shift. I don't know. But we ended up getting a new waiter who ended up being nicer. But it was like right towards the end, like as I was about to pay the bill, he came over and started serving the people next to us and like gave us our bill and stuff. And yeah, I wouldn't eat there again. I I think it's extortionate. The price is insanely, insanely expensive for what you get. The theming is great. Don't get me wrong. The theming is amazing. But the actual service and the food was just terrible. I accidentally put that restaurant in in Fantasyland by accident. So I haven't actually eaten here. I don't know what they serve there. So let's look at the menu really quick. They do like fries with chicken and like a big sausage thing and a big another sausage thing and a hot pretzel sandwich with loin of pork. That doesn't sound like I would eat any of that. So let's put that in. Let's put that in two out of five simply because I haven't done it. I didn't mean to add that in. Whoopsie. Okay, next up is Cafe Hyperion. Cafe Hyperion is going to get a three out of five. Once again, we had a really rude person, like a really rude member of staff. He was just like, we had a mobile order and I was like saying like, I showed him my mobile order and he was like leading me to another queue and I was like, no, it's mobile. And I was just kind of like, okay what do you want me to do? The food is really average. Like it's okay. It's very standard theme park food. So that's why it's getting three out of five. It's definitely better than Casey's. So yeah, it's just, it's just standard, but I do like the location and it's huge by the way. Like the restaurant's massive. Like it's quick service. It's just like humongous. Um, so yeah, it's fine. Next up is Colonel Hathi's Pizza Outpost. That's going to go in. Oh, right. It's the exact same as Bellinotte. Like the menu is pretty much the same apart from the fact that you can get like spaghetti at Bellinotte. But Colonel Hathies gets an extra point for the theming because it's in Adventureland and it literally, it just looks like it's, it belongs there. Like it looks like you've just stumbled across this old like house, like this big house thing in the jungle. So it gets an extra point for the theming. The garlic bread's good too. It's just like your bog standard like crappy garlic bread, but it's delicious. Is it full of calories and chemicals? Most likely. Is it also absolutely divine? Yes. Like, you know when like garlic butter is like soaked through the bread and the bread's a bit soggy, but the outside's like crispy? Oh, <laughs> that is the vibe. Restaurant Hakuna Matata is my favorite quick service. Boom, five out of five. Phenomenal. It's incredible. I love it. The chicken strips, incredible. Delicious. The paprika fries. Oh my God. If you're going to Disneyland Paris and you don't go here, I will personally come to your house and steal your eyelids. We've always had solid service here. There was one time that was a bit, uh, but... It was fine. I just think it was like she didn't understand me, which to be fair is fine because half the time I sound like I'm choking and that I live in a cave. So it's fine. It's good. I love it. Okay, next up is Last Chance Cafe. This is my second favorite quick service, but I I don't think it gets the five out of five treatment. It gets the four out of five treatment. If you are a vegan, this has one of the best vegan options in Disneyland Paris, period. Uh, the vegan chili is divine like it's delectable delicious just amazing if you watch our october 2022 vlogs we do eat here i think on our last day um yeah vegan chili is unreal my boyfriend eats the turkey leg i'm not a fan of the turkey leg it's usually dry i think ben's gonna start getting the vegan chili um it hasn't been open for a while but i'm assuming that's because it's winter and there's no indoor seating that's the only reason that i could assume um but it is delicious so it gets four out of five Next up is Plaza Gardens. That gets a five out of five simply for the character breakfast. We are doing it again on our next trip. Oh, I'm going to talk about my next trip um, a little bit closer to the day, but we do have Plaza Gardens booked, um, which is obviously absolutely amazing. The food is good. Like it's not the best breakfast food that I've ever had in my life, but solid breakfast, incredible character interaction. Staff are very friendly. And that takes a lot to be friendly because that place is full of kids and it's early in the morning like 8.15 for a character breakfast, right? There's two settings. There's one at 8.15 and there's one at half nine, I think. Very, very busy, but everyone's happy. The characters are just running around. They spend time with you. Amazing. Like, I 
love it. And it's like, yeah, if I could do that every day of my life, I totally would. Next up is Silver Spur Steakhouse. It's getting a five out of five. Theming is great. Service is arguably the best I've ever had at any restaurant ever. Honestly, like top to bottom in every aspect, phenomenal. I love the location. It's right near Phantom Manor in Frontierland. The kidney bean soup. If you're getting a starter, get the kidney bean soup. Sod everything else. <laughs> Just get the kidney bean soup. It is unreal. It's delicious. It's so rich and like hearty and like, um. Also, they gave us like incredible, incredible bread. The bread was amazing. Way better than the bread that we had at Cher Me. The bread at Cher Me was disgusting, but the bread at Silver Spur, oh my god, it was incredible. <laughs> Next up is March Hair. Now, I've had this previously on our January trip, and the ice cream was really great. I had a little Cheshire Cat ice cream. I had a little Cheshire Cat on the top. I think I filmed that in the vlog. It is good. It's solid. The guy did mess up my ice cream. He gave me the wrong one. And like, I was doing that thing where I was like, I'm just going to take it because I can't be bothered. And then my boyfriend was like, no, he ordered this one. And I was like, Ben, calm down. Time and place. Um, But the guy was totally fine to like change it. Next up, we have Cafe Della Bruce. Bruce. I don't speak French. This is going to go in three out of five. It doesn't get two out of five because it's not repulsive. But you can get chicken strips. You can get the pineapple whip. So people have been begging for years for Disneyland Paris to bring over door whip from the American parks. And it's never happened. The pineapple whip isn't exactly door whip to my knowledge, but it is delicious. When it's open, I would have, if it's open, you know, if Cafe de la Bruce was open all the time, it would get a four out of five. But it just doesn't because I don't think it's good enough that it's not open. Because it never opens. Why does it never open? I think it's delicious. It's great. I want a pineapple whip. I want the chicken. Hello, open it up. Next up is Five Guys. Now, look, I love me a Five Guys, the Cajun fries. <laughs> I'm going to slip into a coma. However, my issue lies with the fact that you can get five guys everywhere. I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's very standard. It's it's good, but it's three out of five. Also, we had a really, like, really funny language barrier encounter here where the lady serving us, she spoke English, but like she, it wasn't like perfect English. So when I'd, like, I would like, my boyfriend doesn't like anything on the burger. So I was like, no salad. And then she like pointed at all of the salad options. And apparently salad maybe in French is like, lettuce i don't know but basically she pointed to them and i just went non <laughs> and she went non and i went no <laughs> it was just really funny and she she found it funny because obviously like clearly i have a teeside accent so like <laughs> who the hell can understand me anyway and secondly like she struggled to speak english but i was like props for you for like actually speaking english because like I cannot speak a word of French. Like, honestly, I've tried to speak French in France and people have just spoke to me in English because it's that bad. And I'm like, I've been humbled real quick. But it was very funny and she was very nice. Service now is usually good. Can get busy, especially if you go after illuminations. So I would suggest going like 4 p.m. And either doing like a late lunch or an early dinner. And last but not least, we have Cowboy Cookout. Now, I love the location of Cowboy Cookout and I love the concept. I love, I love like anything barbecue. I need to stop slurping into the microphone. However... The issue is, I don't think the flavor was good enough. And I just think that, get this, the portion size is too big. It's absurd. I know I keep referring back to our vlogs, but like, if you watch the January vlogs, I don't know what day it is, we go here and it is literally like the biggest portion of food I've ever seen in my life. But the quality wasn't that great. The service was fine. The service was, the service was all right. It's good for a quick service. Like it gets to that point. So I guess, am I really going to put it in 3.5 again? Well, three out of five. Am I? I'm looking at the other restaurants and I'm like, well, I prefer these over this. So maybe I should put that in two. But it's not Casey Junior level. I need another tier. I've just put it in two because I'm just going to be brutal. Anyway, that was me ranking all the restaurants that I've ate at Disneyland Paris. We are going to be eating at some new ones on our May trip. Oh. That's exciting. We have a lot planned for our May trip. So make sure you're subscribed because we will be bringing you lots of vlogs and lots of Disney stuff. Also, follow me over on Instagram if you want to. We are about to hit a thousand. Like we might be like 150 away something like that i'm really excited i didn't pick my nose i just scratched it okay it was like a little bit but my finger kind of slipped in the hole i would love to hit a thousand followers over on instagram before we go on our next trip in may so if you haven't followed me over there you might want to anyway i'm gonna go so thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe all of my links are down below and i will see you on the next one bye